Welcome back, everybody. We're out here near Lyman, Colorado. I'm with Ray and Debbie Teeman and their family, and we are having a blast. We're at the Prairie Ranch Buffalo Ranch. Let's give it a try. Buffalo cake is uh, is what we give to uh, to get the animals to come up close. Uh, it's, it's a grain-based uh, cake. It's got uh, corn, soybeans, and um, probably some little molasses. It's together. like a treat. They just love to eat it. A lot of people ask the question of uh, you know which which is it a buffalo or a bison. And the truth of the matter is it's one and the same. We go by buffalo. A lot of people want the formal name, which is bison. Maggie is my special buffalo that I raised as, as a calf. The boys, my grandsons I should say, and I went down to pick her up after her mother had died. And she needed to have a home and I brought her home and we bottle fed her and raised her and now she's uh, with our herd and she has a brand new baby this week. So we're excited for that. All right, today we have the 28 inch adventure ready griddle and we're blasting on high heat bison ribeyes right here. I'm gonna rub these with some olive oil. Put a little bit of olive oil on top of these and just rub that into the steaks. All right, now we'll sprinkle these with Blackstone Steakhouse seasoning, basically a Montreal style steak seasoning. You can use salt, pepper, you could go plain if you want to, but I like using this with olive oil and it has uh, nice little bits of garlic and whatnot in there. And we're gonna drop those steaks down on the blazing hot griddle. <laughs> All right, so Debbie, was kind enough to bring me some delicious zucchini. Are these from your garden? They're from my garden. From the garden right there. And uh, we're just gonna griddle these up. Uh, zucchini down here in the corner. Uh, slice up some white onions with that. And we're gonna season those, of course. We'll just use the same Blackstone Steakhouse seasoning to season those up. Those look beautiful already. Alrighty, let's flip some of these steaks. Let's see where we're at here. So we're on high heat. We like to get a big sear, and that's what we want right there. That gorgeous looking crust. That olive oil is helping that seasoning to uh, adhere to the steak. Look at that, man. Delicious. We need smell-o-vision. I buttered up some rolls as well, so we're gonna make a little garlic bread here. And we'll uh, sprinkle that bread up with the uh, Blackstone Parmesan Ranch seasoning. Put that straight down on the griddle top over here. Always nice. I'm a big bread guy, so I always like to have a little bit of uh, bread on the side of whatever I'm eating. I also need to give a shout out to the ranch foreman, Sean, over here. Look at this. He grabbed a camera and he's helping me out, so this is a multi-talented man here. restaurant uh, flat top is stainless and they literally dig to the bone. These you don't. You just lightly kind of skim it like this. Get all that junk off there. And then uh, get all your gunk down there in the grease cup. Um, then I'll either just wipe it down or maybe a little bit of water occasionally and kind of like deglaze it. Just get that extra junk off there. Really? 
Yeah, yeah. And then all you do is just grab like a paper towel or some of those blue shop towels uh -huh. or cotton rag and kind of just clean off, get all that junk off there so you don't have uh, anything extra on there. Watch your hands so you don't burn yourself. I've done it before. That's great. And then grab some cooking oil. Which here we go. Here. Grab some cooking oil. Thank you. And then the way I always leave it, like in between recipes or if I'm getting ready to cook something else, is yeah, just a little shine of oil on there. Just remember it's steel, it's untreated. So yeah, just there we go. And you're ready to cook pancakes, bacon, or just pack it away for the night. Take a look at that. Some of that garlic bread on there. Some of uh, Debbie's zucchini, a little bit of those onions over there on the side as well. Mmm. Oh, that's a beautiful looking piece of zucchini right there. Let's give it a try. Some of that zucchini as well. I can't talk because I'm too busy eating right now. <laughs> Not supposed to talk with your mouth full, but it's delicious. Mmm. Sweet, let's go and eat. Amen. When the French came to the United States, they saw the buffalo and started calling them the same name as they called their cattle in France, and that was Les Boeufs. And so today, that's where the buffalo name came from, even though the scientific name from buffalo is bison bison. The buffalo hide that we have here, uh, boy, those things are heavy. We have a coat made out of, uh, out of one, and uh, I've, I've never find it cold enough hardly to ever wear it. All the different fibers, and so when they intertwine, it, it really makes a really warm, warm coat. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Look at this. I got the hat. Special thanks to our new friends at Prairie Ridge Buffalo Ranch. We had a blast, everybody. So until next time, this is Todd. I'm saying praise the Lord and pass the, the, the buffalo. buffalo.